What's up? Today's topic is about Kuva farming. I was invited by a friend once and turns out he had no idea how the mission works. He thought the objective in a Kuva siphon or Kuva flood mission was to kill Kuva guardians. Then it hit me uh, that I was as clueless and aiming at guardians as well the first time I did these Kuva missions because after finishing the war within that was what we learned to kill Kuva guardians so let's talk about that uh, and start by looking at where we could find these missions first you need to finish the war within quest then you will start noticing Kuva siphon and Kuva flood missions appearing randomly around planets near the Kuva fortress and on the Kuva fortress itself when the mission is triggered, you'll see a Kuva Siphon guarded by Kuva Guardians and other Kuva Fortress enemies. It is not compulsory to kill the Kuva Guardians. The main thing you need to focus on is actually destroying the Kuva Clouds before it reaches the Siphon. Every time a Kuva Cloud is destroyed, the Siphon loses one of its arms, which are called the Siphon Braids. It has four arms in total and when all four arms are destroyed, the Siphon dies and you will get kuvas as your reward. If you fail to stop the siphon from collecting 8 kuva clouds, you fail. But depending on how many clouds you manage to destroy, you will still get some kuvas. But not as much as you would from completing it successfully. And getting a perfect score doesn't give you more kuva. To destroy a kuva cloud, simply dash at it with the operator by tapping on number 5 to summon the operator and press Control space to dash the same way you disarm a Kuva Guardian. Keep in mind that you have two objectives. One is of course to destroy the Kuva Siphon and the other is the main objective of that mission. If for some reason the main objective fails, you get nothing. Kuva Siphon missions has enemy ranging from level 25 to 35 and it gives you about 550 to 700 Kuvas if you succeed. Kuva Flood missions has enemy ranging from level 80 to 100 but could reward you up to 1400 Kuvas if you succeed. The trick is to listen and pay close attention to the Kuva Siphon. Whenever it lifts an arm and creates a sound like this, it means a Kuva Cloud is nearby and coming from the direction it's pointing at. Clearing the enemies including the Kuva Guardians definitely helps to reduce damage and knockdown which could interrupt you from destroying those Kuva Clouds. I know I'm not using it in this video but personally I prefer to use the Warframe Ember for these missions simply because World on Fire will still continue to work even while you are using the Operator. This means enemies around still get stunned and damaged while you are running around chasing clouds. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have a better frame to recommend or have anything to share, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye bye.